Hello, PRP. Welcome to this week's edition of Ridge News. I'm Sheridan. And I'm Sierra. Mm -hmm. With the Halloween season coming to an end, have any of you gone to see any of the haunted houses? A few of my friends and I went to a couple and they were super scary, but here's an interview with Harley Hetzer on a haunted house that her family runs. We started the haunted house maybe 16 years ago. We've, uh, we take at least two months building everything. And we don't charge anything, it's just canned food, so it comes out of our pockets when we build it. And we don't pay actors like they're all volunteers and everything. So there's actually a few actors in the school, y'all might know them. And what really made us start doing it was like to put back in the community because uh, a lot is going on that's really bad and we just really want to help those in need. We open it around maybe seven, depending on the actors get there. That was a really thoughtful idea. Harley, thank you. It was. I think it's really cool that instead of there being an admission fee that they take canned goods. Also, while we're on the topic of Halloween, here's Colin Diego with the question of the week. Are you going for Halloween? I'm naked but no lies. <laughs> and what is your favorite horror movie? Uh, Jeepers Creepers. My favorite horror movie is um, Chucky, and I'm going to be a spider for uh, Halloween. Uh, I'm going to be a gay Mexican vampire, and my favorite horror movie is Jeepers Creepers. I'm going to be a vampire pri priestess for Halloween, and my favorite scary movie is Jason You know, I think I'm going to be a thief. You know, just wear all black, and my favorite horror movie is going to be, it's not really a horror movie, but scary and funny. It's like Scary Movie 3. My favorite horror movie is Annabelle the Creation. Oh yeah, that's a good one. But speaking of scary, have you seen some of the decorated doors around the school? Here's a piece Nancy did just on just that. Thanks, Nancy, and congratulations to Mr. Hughes for winning first place, Ms. Yoakum for winning second place, and Ms. Webb for winning third place. Those were pretty cool doors. They were. Something else that's pretty cool that went on at PRP was the ring ceremony for the baseball team for winning the state championship. Welcome to Ridge Sports. I'm Kyle. Back in June, PRP played in the state title game against Simon Kenton. PRP won that game 6-5. to five. This past week, PRP received its state championship rings. Let's take a look. Get the box ready. Everybody ready? Matt, where you fit in, man? Let's see what these rings look like. Let's go. Ball a little bit low. Good job, baby. Good job, baby. 
6-5 ball game. Three runs in here in the bottom of the seventh for the Pioneers. Time run out of second base. 6-5 for Jaron Cooper in the on-deck circle. If he should be glad to be on the delivered yesterday. Let's see what he can do here in a clutch situation. Seeker at the second. Pitch, and that's going to be a ball strike. Ponder, I think, was pulled by that pitch. Which can you go with a fastball or an old speed pitch here? Congrats on your season, guys, and we hope you all can do it again this upcoming year. That's all for this week. Have a safe and blessed weekend, PRP. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kyle. Those are some big rings. And speaking of rings, it's about time for the juniors to start placing order for their class rings. It feels like just yesterday I was placing the order for mine. Yes. Time is flying. Here's a PCA regarding class rings for the juniors. All right, we have Logan Marshall here. Are you getting a junior ring? Yes, sir. And what are you getting on it? Probably just a class of 19 and a bow. All right, thank you. All right, we have Sean here. Are you getting a junior ring? Yes. And what are you going to get on it? Basketball on my initials. All right, thank you. All right, we have Sean here. Are you getting a junior ring? No. And why not? Because I'm getting a ring pop instead. Thank you. All right, we have Marvin here. Are you getting a junior ring? Yes. And what are you getting on it? My initials, which is me. All right. Thanks, Sierra. Another interesting aspect of PRP is the CPR training that takes place in health class. Oh, yeah. I got CPR certified my freshman year in Mr. Hawk's class. Here's Noah with a piece on that. 20 compressions per minute. Um, you're going to get the victim on the floor or on the ground. You don't want them to be on a bed or a couch because the recoil would make the compressions less effective. So you want to make sure you lower them to the ground or the floor. You're going to get on your knees right next to them like Obeda is. You're going to put your hands out in front of you like this. Use right here where your palm meets your wrist and put it right in the center of the chest of the victim. Keep your elbows locked so you're getting the force from moving your body. <laughs> Thanks, Noah. It's always a great idea to learn how to perform CPR in case of an emergency. It sure is, but on another note, have you noticed the dramatic change in the weather lately? I definitely have, and so has Maddie. Here she is with the weather now. Hey, PRP. I'm Maddie. Let's take a look at this week's weather. Tonight for trick-or-treating, it will be a bit chilly with a high of 49. On Wednesday, there will be showers throughout the day with a high of 50. On Thursday, there will be a.m. showers with a high of 64. On Friday, there will be showers with a high of 64. Lastly, on Saturday, there will be scattered storms with a high of 64. I'm Maddie. Back to you guys. Thanks, Maddie. Looks like it's time to start bringing out the winter clothes. I'm way ahead of you, Sierra. As we conclude this episode of Rich News, here's some clips from the chorus concert we had last week. Hello, PRP students. Recently, our choir had their fall concert, and here's some highlights. That's all for this week's edition of Ridge News. I'm Sierra. And I'm Sheridan. Have a good rest of the week, PRP.